Hi guys, and today we're gonna do Google My Business. We like to do things easy here, so just go ahead, go on google.com and Google Google My Business, and you'll see right here, it'll take you directly to Google My Business Business. So let's click on that, and we are going to list my business today. So you can follow along or just watch how it happens, and you will need a Gmail account for this. We'll go into sign in, and make sure that you are signing into the right account. So for example, this is not the correct account. It would be my business account. So I wanna make sure that I'm signed in correctly. And now we see find and manage your business. So I'm not gonna be able to find my business because my business is brand new. But for those of you that might not know, we definitely want to check if your business is online because sometimes just like Facebook, Google will create a profile for you if your business is popular enough and if your business is being searched. So if you don't know, just double check because you don't want double profiles on Google My Business. If for any reason it comes up that you have a page already, then it will allow you to just claim the business. This is for a new business. So it's saying create a business with this name. Absolutely, let's go ahead and do it. I wanna add LLC. Not necessary, but I'd like to add that. Now start building your business profile. This will help you get discovered by customers on Google search and maps. So put in your business name and you want to use the name that is your formal registered business name, LLC. I'm not sure if it's optional, but I, I understand it. You should use it if it's part of your name and business category. My business category is business management. So we'll do here business management consultant. And let's go for next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or an office? And I do, I do have an office. So I wanna make sure to add that on there so that it is open to the public. And this office is also registered on 411 directories. So if this is your home address, do not add your address. You don't want this to be public and you don't want people visiting you. But since I do have an address, we will go ahead and put that in there. That is my business address. I will add a line for the suite number, but we'll take this out for now. Is this your business? It looks like your business might already have a business profile on Google search or maps. If you see your business below, select it. What does this mean? My business is actually in an office, something uh, similar to WeWork. So because of that, other businesses may have registered their business with a similar address, but it's not necessarily correct. So I'm gonna say none of these are my business. Do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? And that would be no. Add your contact info. And this is going to be my office information. It's not going to be my personal phone number. So we will use my office information. And we'll also use my website. Do I want to stay in the know? Do you want updates and recommendations for your business on Google? This is totally your choice, but I do. I do want updates and information. And then choose a way to verify. Now this phone number, I'm not sure if it receives text messages, but we can choose email. And let me just double check that that is the right email. And that would be no, that would be my formal hello at Align with Lease. So you may not be familiar with this, but uh, as you can see, it did direct me initially to my website email. So prior to going into this, don't try to make anything up. 
Google is very finicky. If it's asking you to put in your official website email and you don't have one, then just go ahead and head to your service provider and purchase one so that you have an official website email. This is very important. Even having a business, a Gmail is not good enough. On most occasions, you want to have a professional email that is linked to your website address. So if you get stuck, Please stop before you ask for the code and make sure that you have a proper website email and you can always go back to this and redo the process or pick up where you left off. So this one was asking me to go to hello at align with lease and that way it was accepted. There used to be a mail-in code, but Google has actually updated their information and that's why I wanted to show you this because now you no longer have to wait for your mail-in code to verify your business. They will just do it with your official website email. So now we'll click next and it'll give you some options to add your business hours and let customers when you're open for business. I would like to do this just so they know when they can contact me. And that is basically Monday through Friday. And this is gonna be 10 a.m. every day. It, it's not gonna stop your customers from calling you, but at least it gives them an idea of when you're available. So I want people to call me from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Alrighty. And then I have Saturday and Sunday closed. And then you can add a mess messaging. So let customers message your Google uh, business on Google for free. And that is totally fine. I would love that. Turn on your call history. Call history lets you see info about customers who called you through Google and I'll turn it on. In any case, you can always go back and change these settings if your volume is very high. But for now, I think that this works for me and I'd like to have everything on to see what's happening through Google business. Then you can add a business description. Let your customers learn more about your business by adding a description to your business profile. And that is completely fine. I'm actually going to take this from my website. Here we go. So I've just made it really short. You can always change this, but for now I want to do a complete profile so you guys know what it looks like. So I just put that it's a business management and consulting agency focused on marketing, branding, strategies, operations, and ads. Call today to book a consultation. And then we can add photos of the business. And as of right now, I'm not going to add any photos, but maybe I could just add the logo, maybe even a picture of myself, which would be very helpful. So I'll do that there. Alrighty, so we have me and my logo and we'll go ahead and press next. And then claim your advertising credit. Free money is good money, so let's do that later. And your business profile is almost ready. You can continue making updates and edits to your profile at any, any time, and your edits will be visible to Google to customers on Google after you've been verified. So we'll continue. And here you go. So obviously it says views available soon. You're looking at a preview, but here you can see align with lease with my office. And it does say you manage this business profile. Perfect. That means that it's me. And then business management consultant, as well as the address, the toll free number, any updates for my customers. So I can always say a special discount code is a great way to attract your customers here, or even a referral or a promotion that you might be having. So that is a great way to inform your customers or your potential customers of things that you have going on. I'm not going to edit my business information because it is all correct. And here with the business hours and appointment link, we did do business hours, so I'm not sure why it didn't update, but this is very simple and you guys pretty much get the point. Now, if you use something like Booksy, you can add your appointment link here and then people will be able to book you directly from Google, which is amazing. You can uh, um, answer your customers' questions and you can even get your first review. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Very step-by-step -step and very easy to follow. If you like videos like this one or you have any questions, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and use a comment box to communicate with me. Thank you again. See you next time.